Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com. Today we're here with Mike from Robart. What's going on, Mike? Hey, Jim. Everything's going well over here. We're excited to be talking about the Zap 5-Minute z -poxy today. So we're going to change our format a little bit and we're going to get right into the how-to, show you exactly what you need to know so that you can get the maximum amount of information and in the minimum amount of time. So let's go take a look at the epoxy. Yeah, Jim, well, we've got the four different offerings that we have for the Zap 5-Minute Epoxy. We offer it in a four ounce set, an eight ounce set, a one ounce squeegee or not squeegee syringe and a half ounce syringe. So when I talk about a set on these two, so this four ounce set, you get two ounces of resin and two ounces of hardener for the eight ounce set. You get four ounces of resin and four ounces of hardener. Uh, the syringe is nice for those of you who just like something quick where they can just squeeze squeeze that on out that's where on this will come you'll get your one-to-one -one mixture and then if you go into the fly fishing side which uh, you'll find this here that is still used and a lot of the fly fishing stuff so what i'll do is let's get these three out of the way and show you what we have so so like we talked about just previously, you get on, on a set, you get two ounces of your hardener and two ounces of your resin. Now, there is a reason that we do not wrap our labels all the way around. And with the overhead shot, it'll be kind of difficult to get, but we fill our bottles exactly the same since it's a two ounce and you can see it's hard to see in the overhead shot. I'm trying to get this here, but uh, you can see the levels through the gap between the label. Yep. And that is how you know if you are getting a one to one mixture, because we always tell you, you get use a one to one mixture. Don't worry about doing extra hardener or extra resin and whatnot. Um, so as you go and you get your mixing cup. And cut the tip off your mixing uh, off your bottles. Uh, just a side tip: the way uh, I'll do it is I'll grab a piece of cardboard and run a line, and then run a line of the other, and that way my lines are exactly the same size, and that's how I can tell if I've put the same amount down, and then I mix it together. There you go. And I do them in a mixing cup, and then what I'll do is I put my bottles flat onto a surface and then I will look at my fill lines and if those fill levels are exactly the same then I know that I have the one-to-one -one mixture uh, so it is a it's a clear product and what I tell a lot of people is if you're looking for to do this in a coating do a light stir don't whip it this isn't um, this isn't scrambled eggs. You're not because the more you whip, the more air you get in, and then you start getting, you know, bubbles and things of that nature. So you just do a light mix, a fold, fold them over one way or then another. So you get a nice mix between the two. Now, this is a five minute set. So when we talk about five minute epoxies, there are z epoxies here. This is our set time. All of our uh, z epoxies are for full cure. It's 24 hours, right? But it'll be hard within uh, five minutes, okay? Okay. Also, what we want to reiterate is when we talked about the foam safe system, we talked about that when you want to look at foam, you got to be careful when using um, five-minute epoxy because of the heat that is created, right? And if you're going to be putting a lot of epoxy in foam, you do run the chance of melting the foam. All right, so you can see it is a clear product. This is a very strong product. Uh, so I was pulling up the PSI. So our shear strength, when we look at shear strength, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a steel, the metal steel. Uh, so our PSI for the five-minute 
is 1,200 PSI. So that's our shear strength. So it becomes very strong. Epoxies are extremely strong adhesives. All right. And what I'll, we're a great uh, um, way of using our epoxies is on joints. So if you want to re, you want to it, strengthen your, your ribs and your spars, that is a great way to put make a fillet right in there and really strengthen up those joints. And the great part about five-minute epoxy is that it dries in five minutes. And the uh, thing you should be careful about is that it dries in five minutes. So you have limited yes. time to get everything just right. This is true. So that's our five-minute epoxy. And if anybody's got any questions, please feel free to reach out either to myself here at Robart or in Call uh, Frank Dion Enterprises or House of Balsa also. All right, everyone. This has been our Zep How To. And uh, we have more in this series. So be sure to hit subscribe. Big thanks to Mike at Robart. You can check him out at robart.com. And then you can also check out Zap, all the Zap Glues at zapglues.com. I'll have links to all this down below in the description just to make sure I have everything right. You can go check that out there. Thank you, Mike, and thank everyone out there for joining us today. Have a great day, everyone.